quick. So we got a no cool call. Uh, basically, I got no fan, nothing. Um, I've already come up here and you can see here the light. Uh, so this is a carrier furnace. So we're getting 24. So one, two, two fast flashes and four uh, slow flashes. So according to that, that means a blown fuse. You can see here, I already have my uh, little popper hooked up. This is the fuse. So it popped when I was calling for cooling, heating and fan still works fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it pops when uh, you're calling for cool. So we need to find out what's up. This is that one where the condenser's in the attic. So I suspect that there's some kind of short going on. So let's get at it. So here we go. A quick way to figure out where your short is is to remove the outdoor wires first, leaving the thermostat wires on. This is just to determine if the short is with is present within the thermostat or the outdoor unit, uh, which the outdoor unit could be a multitude of things. It could be the wires themselves. Uh, it could be a bad contact or whatnot. But we want to see where it is first because it could also be the thermostat. Uh, so I've pulled these wires off. I'm going to go ahead and cycle cooling and see if it pops again. I'm going to reset my popper here. And we should get fan. All right, so we are receiving 24 volts or 27 in this case. So I would say that our short is somewhere here. So we're gonna check that out. Shorted to ground, we should be getting a tone. So we're on continuity here, I got nothing. That's on the common, so we're gonna try the Y going to the outdoor unit or... So we got continuity. So, um, and you can see this wire is completely disconnected. So the short's either there and it's running back through the line set to here, or we might have an issue here. Now, I don't see any breaks here. The wire is very short. It's just from there to there. So uh, we're gonna check the outdoor unit. All right, so we're at our condenser unit. So there's our problem right there. That's the Y right there. You can see it fell off the contactor. It's probably super loose. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the high voltage to this unit before I stick my fingers in there. Alright, so let's plug this in. We're probably going to have to tighten up these. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably super loose. That's why it fell off. But anyway, it was touching the side, and that's why we're getting a tone. The continuity is running through the line set back to the furnace. That's why we're getting a tone. So anyway. Yeah, super loose. All right, so we got it back on the Y. You can see there's no tone now. Switch it over to common, which is the white wire. Yeah, so we tightened up that spade so it shouldn't pop off again. So we'll go ahead and reconnect this and then try cycle again. We're ready to go ahead and cycle it on. We're jumping R to W. Go ahead and turn on the disconnect. I still have the popper in there just in case. Now the condenser came on. The fan is now on. Awesome. So we'll let it run for a while, but I'm pretty sure that's all is it. But anyway, that's how you quickly find a low voltage short. Uh, and the control system. It's either going to be the thermostat or it's going to be the outdoor unit. About 90% of the time it's always the outdoor unit, something going on with that just because the wires tend to get beat up and messed up and it vibrates a lot, so that can happen. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out, so thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.